welcome to the Executive Gardener channel. I want to wish all my viewers and all my subscribers around the world a very happy holidays here for 2015. So it is approximately 10 o'clock in the morning here in Houston, Texas. It's going to be 65 degrees today. So if you're a golfer, perfect golf weather, or if you're an outside enthusiast, just great to be outside. So this episode today is going to be about broccoli. And broccoli is probably my first or second favorite vegetable out there. From a nutrient standpoint, it's loaded with uh, vitamins, antioxidants, and all those great things. And broccoli is one of those rare crops that you can grow that you can harvest everything. So if you're a juicer, you can use the leaves for your shakes. And of course, if you like salads and other type of things, or you can just eat broccoli fresh off the plant. So let me tell you a little bit about the broccoli plant, and I'm going to show you how I'm growing my broccoli, the success I'm having, and the success you could have at home growing broccoli too. And at the end, I'm going to show you a very special thing. I've never grown broccoli hydroponically. So you actually can do that, and I'll show you what I'm doing with one of my broccoli plants hydroponically. So to start with, the broccoli plant is part of the coal crop family, C-O-L-E. And that family consists of cabbage, kohlrabi, Brussels sprouts, kale, and other, other cool water, excuse me, cool weather type of crops that all of us enjoy around the year. Now the great thing about broccoli, it is a cool weather crop. So it can pretty much grow as long as the soil is above 35, 40 degrees, but it can't really be over 80 degrees, 75, 80 degrees consistently. So you can get typically, depending on where you live, two crops a year, a spring crop and a fall crop. So uh, it's great. So broccoli does take 90 to 110 days to grow from seed. So you got to be patient in growing this, but I'll show you what my crops look like. And they're probably around day 80, but the, the, uh, the heads of the broccoli are doing very well. So as far as being successful in growing broccoli, they do need about six hours. The plants need six hours of sun, six to seven hours of sun a day, okay? And again, you don't want it to be hot. If it's 80 degrees and sunny, the plants are going to, you'll see the leaves start to wilt and all that. In addition, it's very important when you grow broccoli, that they have consistent watering. They need about an inch to two inches of water a week, depending on where you live. If they dry out, it will cause problems in the, uh, in the broccoli head. And uh, it may be inconsistent with smaller heads or browning heads and so forth. So I would, I would definitely recommend steady watering. In addition, broccoli is one of those vegetable plants that requires nitrogen-rich soil. I apologize, my dog next door decides to bark right now, but it wants nitrogen-rich soil. So what I would recommend you do is to get a good organic mulch, put it around the plant, and I think your broccoli plant will do just fine. Just a little bit of phosphorus will do well too. As far as pH goes, I would recommend a pH between 6 and 7 uh, consistently in your soil, and you'll do well. If you don't know if your soil is 6 to 7, have it tested, okay? So I would lastly say that from a harvesting perspective, there's not many... Um, pests that bother the broccoli plant. The two major ones, I should say three major ones, are cabbage loopers, cabbage worms, and aphids, if you have aphids. So other than that, it's a pretty steady plant and it's consistent if you grow it healthy. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you how my broccoli plants are going. Now this is my fall crop. Now in Houston, Texas, we can actually have a crop that goes into the winter season because we don't have as harsh winters as other places in the world. So let me get behind the, uh, the, the camera uh, and show you how my broccoli plants, my, my uh, soil grown ones are doing, and then I'll show you how my hydroponic ones are doing. Stay tuned. So here's the first of my uh, soil planted broccoli plants. There's two of them. I had some extra space back here in my garden. I planted two. Now, ideally, uh, they should be probably a little, they're about 20, they should be 24 inches apart for whatever reason. They didn't get that. They're probably about 18 inches apart, but that's okay. Let me show you the plant here, and you'll see it's doing pretty well. Now, I picked a yellow leaf off. We've had 23 inches of rain here in Houston, Texas in the past month, and the rain, that type of rainfall is going to create problems for any type of plant, especially the uh, tomatoes and it, but broccoli is no different. So here's the head. This is about 80, 80, 75 to 80 days old. You see the head's doing fairly well. Really nice and green. Now from a broccoli perspective, um, 
this head's going to get bigger. So you can see it. Let's put my hand in comparison so you'll see the size of it. It's going to get probably, from a diameter perspective, another three, four inches. It's slightly larger. Now, don't be discouraged. Some heads get larger than others, but uh, it depends on a lot of things. Soil, weather, rain, consistent watering, all those type of things. But this is the head. I think it's going to get a little larger. You want to cut, cut your heads, uh, the broccoli heads here, about four inches below the flower. Okay, this is the flower, the head part. You want to cut it about four to five inches below on the stem. And you want to do it when all of these, this is the flowering part, the head of the broccoli, is the very tight green heads. That's when it tastes the best. Once you see some inconsistencies in the, in the broccoli head where parts of it grow higher than the others, or once you see it start turning yellow and start flowering, you want to get it off because some people don't like the taste of broccoli once it gets to a flowering stage. It tastes, some may call it a little bit bitter. So you want to do it when it's kind of tight like this. And this one will get a little bigger. But again, every head will be different. Now, the broccoli plant, it's interesting that the leaves are also nutritious. So a lot of people will take the leaves and they will juice with them or slice them up and put them into their, their smoothie or breakfast drink, whatever it may be. Um, but... Um, Again, remember, it's part of the kale, the kohlrabi family, so all of these leaves are full of uh, nutri uh, nutrients for your, for your body. So um, that's, that's certainly one of the heads. Now, one of the interesting characteristics, and uh, we'll take a look at one over here before I get to that. See, now this head is not as big, so for whatever reason, it hasn't done much. It's actually tiny. So one of the interesting characteristics of this plant is that when you cut the main head off, you will get uh, broccoli shoots in other parts of the plant, so as many as 8 to 10. Some of them actually may be as big as the original head. So don't be discouraged if the head is, instead of being that size, it's that size. Um, uh, you may cut the, the initial head out and what will happen is you'll see additional sh uh, heads form on the sides of the plant, just like you would see in a Brussels sprouts plant. So again, they could be eight to, to 10 different heads that, that grow in the plant. So uh, let me show you, here's another one over here. This, this actually one uh, got to be a pretty decent size head. You see again, there's, again, we've had rain, so there's some water beaded up on top, but that nice tight head is what you want. This will get a little bit bigger. And you actually see at the bottom, you actually see there's uh, uh, another broccoli head sh uh, shooting off of that, but you will get additional, but this one's actually doing pretty well, other than the water on it, uh, it's doing fairly well. So let me show you a few others that I have in my, uh, in my garden. All right, so here are three broccoli plants. Again, I made a mistake, probably planted them 12 to 18 inches. They should be about 24 inches apart, but nevertheless, let's look into it. So here's a good example of the variety of the different size heads. So you look at, these were all planted at the same time. So look at the size of that head compared to that tiny one and that small one. So, um, you know, they, they all grow differently, but um, you'll see that um, this one actually looks really good. Take a look at that. That's what a broccoli head should look like. It'll get a little bit bigger, but again, once you cut the main head off, don't cut it. Do go about four to five inches below the head, okay? And cut the stem down. Once you cut that, it's gonna send offshoots of different broccoli heads out. And those those broccoli, some people like it better or just as tasty as the, uh, the broccoli that's at the top of the plant. So again, a smaller one and another one as well. So um, some of these leaves are you know, a little crummy. Again, we've had a ton of rain. Just take them and throw them away. Give them your chickens, whatever you do. But the leaves that look like this, they're really green and on top, you can put those in your smoothies and so forth. So. Um, there's not much I can do to control the skies here in Houston, Texas, but it is what it is. But these three broccoli are doing well. Let me show you what my hydroponic broccoli looks like. That looks exceptionally well as well. So interestingly enough, my largest head of broccoli planted at the same time came from my hydroponic broccoli. So let's take a look at this. Um, this is the hydroponic broccoli head. You'll see doing very well. Looks really good. Pretty soon to be harvested. Um, again, the leaves, you know, they're... They don't, the leaves itself on the hydroponic don't look as great as the stuff, the soil planted broccoli, but nevertheless, okay. Um, you'll see here the problem with the broccoli plant is that head gets pretty heavy and my broccoli is leaning, so I probably need to get some type of steak. But here's an, so if you take a look at this plant, you'll see, I hope you can see it because 
probably in the shadows. But really cool. So you'll see here, um, there's actually shoots that are coming off the broccoli plant already uh, below the main flower. Okay, so there's already eight to ten that are developing, and they're just as tasty. So this is a Dutch bucket system that uh, I've grown this hydroponic broccoli in. And over here, you may these these look uh, again it's from the same uh, family of plants as this so these may look like the same plants as this but if not so the same coal uh, family of plants is the cauliflower so these are hydroponic cauliflower that are growing again we've got some mildew on here because of all the dang rain we've had but these are the heads have not started actually one of the heads has started on one of my cauliflowers hydroponically and uh, this is it right here so as you'll know the leaves wrap around it but that's a hydroponically grown cauliflower so you can see it's in a simple Dutch bucket system with a reservoir down there. But uh, again, you can grow broccoli hydroponically if that's something you want to do. Uh, so that's an example of my hydroponic broccoli compared to the soil broccoli. So that's all I have for you. Thanks for watching this episode of the Executive Gardener channel. Please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video or send it to a friend that may be interested in getting into my and our gardening community here on the YouTube uh, garden community. Again, I want to wish everybody around the world a very happy holidays. Hope everybody has a great holiday with their family. And if I don't talk to you before the new year, have a great new year as well. Take care. Bye.